Hello everyone, this is the NLE Ninja, and I'm here to show you Film Impact's Transition Pack 1. With this new Transition Pack, you get 10 high quality transitions for Premiere Pro, which you can use on your next project. In this tutorial, I will showcase some of these transitions to show you how you can manipulate them to get results you can only imagine. Let's learn how some of these transitions operate. Impact Burn White is a nice color transition which burns to white between clips. I have it applied to these two clips in my timeline. I'm going to select it and go to the effects control panel. Here, I can determine its duration and alignment. If you want to dig deeper into its capabilities, click on the custom button. Here, I can control items such as spread, softness, and color. Spread determines the radius of the white flash. Softer determines how soft or blurred the flash will be. Higher or lower values will yield different results, so experiment to taste. The last parameter is color. You have the choice of two colors to choose from when the flash occurs. Currently, it defaults to black, but you can have two different colors behind the white flash when the transition occurs. I'll choose two different colors at random for demo purposes. Let's see what this transition looks like after some tinkering. As you can see, we get a white flash with our two colors behind it. Let's move on to Impact Stretch. Impact Stretch is a powerful transition which stretches the outgoing clip to the incoming clip. I have it applied in my timeline on these two clips. Let's select it and go to the Effects Control Panel. You can click on the arrows to determine what direction you want the transition to go. Click on the custom button and we're presented with some parameters that control the overall look. Zoom, center of zoom, blur, and dissolve length. Zoom controls how far your images will be zoomed in or out when the transition's occurring. A lower or higher value will yield different results. Center of zoom controls the positioning of your clips when it's stretched. A value of zero will keep it centered, while a negative value will shift it to the left and a positive value will shift it to the right. Blur controls how blurry your clips will be when it's stretching from one clip to the next. Dissolve length determines how long the dissolve is between the outgoing clip to the incoming clip. Finally, the alpha subcolor option is only used when working with single-sided transitions or clips containing transparency. Let's modify some of these parameters and see what we have. Here's the result. As you can see, we get a blurry stretch animation from one clip to the next. Let's move on to Impact Flash. Impact Flash is a cool flash transition which has the ability to have minimal to a lot of blur. I have it applied in this timeline. Once I select this transition, I'll go to the Effects Control Panel and click on the Custom button. Here, I'm presented with the following parameters, Blur, Glow, Softer, and Alpha Subcolor. Blur controls how blurry the flash will be. Glow determines how bright and intense the glow is, and softer controls how soft the flash is during the transition. As you've learned from Impact Stretch, alpha subcolor plays a part when the transition is single-sided or the outgoing clip contains transparency. I'm going to change some of the settings and see what I get. This is what my Impact Flash transition looks like now. As you can see, there's more emphasis in the blur on this transition than the default settings. Let's move on to Impact Copy Machine. Impact Copy Machine is a cool wipe transition that uses a color burn effect to go from one clip to the next. With the transition applied, I'm going to go to the Effects Control Panel. Here, I can determine which direction I want my transition to go 
as well as look at the parameters by clicking my custom button. We are presented with parameters that affect how this transition operates. Head controls the head of the wipe and determines how far it extends across our clip. Tail controls the tail end of the wipe and also determines how far it extends across our clip. The line thickness controls how thick you want your line to be, so you have the option of having a thin or thick line for your transition. Glow color allows you to change the color of the glow, and color blend controls how much color will show up in the line. If you want a lightsaber-like appearance on your line, you're going to want to set a high color blend value. Once you have the parameters set to your liking, hit OK. Let's see what this transition looks like now. Our clip transitions to the next clip in a copy machine-like fashion with more emphasis on the color blend. Let's take a look at Impact Roll. Impact Roll is a multi-directional transition that pushes clips on the screen several times. With this transition, there are possibilities for cool compound effects. Let's investigate this transition further. If I click on the custom button in the effects control panel, you'll see how to manipulate this transition to your liking. You have the ability to affect the following, motion blur, blur, rolls, and ease. Blur and motion blur are connected parameters which determine how much blur is applied when the transition occurs. If you turn off motion blur, the blur is no longer visible. With motion blur turned on, I can control how much blur is visible when the transition is occurring. I'll bump that up to 46. The roll parameter determines how many times your clip will roll until it lands on the incoming clip. A single roll will look more like a push transition, while many rolls will give a slot machine or roulette wheel-like animation, depending on the direction you set for this transition. I'll set my rolls to 4. The ease parameter allows me to have a smooth or linear animation. What I mean by that is, if I want the rolls to be smooth, you'll want to set your ease to ease in, ease out, or ease in and out. If you don't want any ease, set it to no ease. Let's hit OK and see what our transition looks like after we render. Let's see what this transition looks like now. My clips rolled four times in a direction that I chose in the effects control panel before landing on the incoming clip. Let's take a look at Impact Chaos. This transition is a great addition to the film Impact family and one that music video editors will enjoy quite a bit. Impact Chaos is a distortion and RGB split transition that switches between the incoming and outgoing clip. Let's take a look at the inner workings of this transition. Let's select the transition in the timeline and go to the effects control panel. Once I click on the custom button, I'll be presented with these parameters. Chaos controls the amount of vertical and horizontal distortion. A lower or higher value will yield different results. RGB split controls how much the red, green, and blue channels split with distortion during the transition. Chaos and RGB split are linked parameters, so if your chaos is set to zero, there will be no RGB split. H versus V controls the balance between the horizontal and vertical distortion of each clip. The center of transition controls the alignment of maximum distortion during the transition. Impact Chaos uses randomized patterns, and the pattern control will re-randomize the effect. I'll modify each parameter and see what I come up with. Let's take a look. And that's how the Impact Chaos transition looks like after some tinkering. You've seen how in-depth these transitions work and what they can bring to your edits. If that doesn't make you want to try a demo or purchase the entire collection, then you're definitely missing out. I plan to do effects-based tutorials using some of these transitions, so if you want to see that, subscribe, and comment on the video. I'm the Enelie Ninja, asking you to stay creative and make an impact.